so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Mika! Hey, it's me, Mika! And today I'm at the Kennedy Space Center in Merritt Island, Florida. Look, I'm even wearing a space suit because I'm going on a very special space mission. My plan is to experience a spacewalk, experience landing and driving on Mars, and going to Mars space. But it's all simulation style, which means I'm not really going to space, but it's sure gonna feel like it. Will you come with me? Oh, let's go. Hey. Hi. Who are you? I'm Daniel. Oh, hi, Daniel. I'm Mika. Hi. <laughs> so what do you do here? I'm an educator here at Kennedy Space Center. So oh. I teach kids all about science, technology, history, a lot of really cool topics. Wow, you must know a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what is this? Uh, this is actually a 3D model of the International Space Station, the ISS. ISS. OK, so that stands for International Space mm -hmm. Station. Station. You got ISS. it. ISS. Cool. Oh, yeah. Now, it's really, really big. It's about as big as a football field. Whoa, that is really, really big. Yeah. And what's this long part in the middle here? So the long part in the middle is called the truss segment. Oh, the truss. OK, yeah. and what does that do? So that holds the things like the solar panels, a lot of cool instruments and experiments. The astronauts usually just live in the middle. Uh -huh. They don't usually go out there all that often. Why would they need to go out there? Well, sometimes you got to uh, repair stuff or replace things. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Now, something we also have that's really, really cool here is a simulator that'll kind of show you how astronauts actually train to go out there. Really? Yeah. Could I try? Totally. Oh, let's do it. Whoa, Daniel, what's all this? So these are all our tools and equipment and replacement parts that we're going to use in our simulator. Wow, that's going to be awesome. Oh, yeah. What's all in here? So there's tons of different things. We have different wrenches and different mm -hmm. equipment. One that's very important that you're going to use today is this one right here. Oh, hey, it looks like the letter T. Yeah, that's actually where it gets its name. It's called the T-handle wrench. Oh, makes sense. T-handle wrench. Oh, OK. Yeah. We actually have a bigger version of that. It's this one right here. Whoa, and look at this. It looks like the letter L. And that's what its name is, L-handle wrench. Oh, L-handle wrench. Works out. Easy to remember. Oh, yeah. Oop. This way. There you go. You got it. OK. Now, we're just going to use this little one today. But we have other things that we can use to replace stuff. We have something right here called a dust environment. This Ooh. one is to try to capture micrometeorites and particles in space and dust and debris. Wow. We have this little one right here. It's an electronics module. It's huh. for computers and stuff like that. Looks complicated. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm going to give you an easy one to deal with. It's called a vibration detection system. Whoa, what does that do? Careful, it's very heavy, OK? okay. So that detects if the station shakes or shimmies or anything kind of crazy like that. And that so would be very, bad? Yes, okay. it would be very bad. OK, so this okay. is super important. Yes. OK. So what's going to happen is that when I put you in the chair, OK, mm -hmm. we're going to find that on the truss, uh -huh. and then you're going to replace it. Wow, cool. OK, yeah. I can't wait. And I'm going to give you this little one uh -huh. to replace it. We can test it right now so you get a little better understanding before we go. OK, okay? let's test it out. So you're going to grab onto that. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, when you put it inside, it's kind of like a screwdriver. So okay. You put it in and push it straight down. There you go. Okay. And then you're going to turn it halfway. Halfway, like that? Yep, there you go. Okay. Now, when you do that, it's going to come out and it's going to fall down. OK, so good So make to sure know. not to let it fall on you, OK? okay. Then I'm going to give you the new one. You're going to give me the old one. OK. OK. And then when you put the new one in, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to push and half turn. The other way? Yep. Ah. And then that new one will be in place, and you've replaced something. Oh, awesome. OK, well, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, buckling in. Oh, the seatbelt is very much like the one you would use on an airplane. Yeah, exactly. OK, nice okay. and tight. Now, you're in our microgravity chair. This is what we're going to use to kind of simulate our spacewalk. Yeah, that's right, okay. microgravity. And for a spacewalk, you use your hands, not your feet. Yeah. <laughs> OK. Now, I want you to have your head all the way back against like that little okay. pillow. OK. I'm going to rock you back. It's going to feel like being in a dentist chair. Ooh, OK. okay. So rocking you back. OK. All right. Feel OK? Yeah, nice and cozy. You ready? Yeah. OK, starting in three, two, one. Now it's really loud, Ooh, okay? Yeah, it's a little loud. Yeah. Now I'm going to push you underneath. 
Whoa. Okay. Now you can reach your arms up. Okay. Okay. And I want you to catch the truss. There you go. So got, you got it. it. Now you can try moving up and down. Okay. Just use your arms though, remember, no feet. Whoop. Yep, so you're at the bottom. Now try moving all the way up to the top. Ooh. Notice how easy it is to move? Yeah. Yeah. It's really fun. Yeah. Cool. And it feels like I'm floating. Wow. <laughs> wow. So I want you to come right here to station 108. Okay? 108. Because we got oh. a job to do, not just having fun, okay? Yeah, here it is, 108, ready for my job. Yeah. So we're going to replace this instrument right here, okay? Okay. So I'm going to give you some tools, remember? <laughs> this is awesome. I'm working on the truss like a real astronaut. <laughs> so do you see the old vibration unit in front of you? Yep. I'm going to give you the T-handle wrench. Okay. And you're going to take it out. Remember, don't let it fall on you. All right. Okay, so push yeah, up. Yeah, this needs to be replaced. Good thing I'm here. I am very good at replacing these old things. Ugh. There you go. Old one's out. Next. I'll take the old one. <laughs> Here's the new one. Okay. Okay. Whoop, you turn it around. You got it. Okay, that goes there. Yep. Okay. Right there, push it in. Push Whoop. it straight up. Turn your handle wrench a little tiny bit more to the right. Okay. A little bit more. Okay. There you go. Now And then talking. let go. And you're all good. All right there, buddy. That one's good to go. Perfect. <laughs> I'll take the wrench back. All right. Okay. But hey, we finished your job. Awesome. Good job. I'm going to get you out of the chair, okay? Okay. So. Whoa. Stay right there. You can let go. Okay. okay. You're floating away from the station. Oh, no. Bye. <laughs> Wow, I could take a nap in this chair. Well, you you can now that you've done your job, okay? <laughs> but bringing you back down to Earth. Three, Ready? two, one. Welcome oh, back. That was a quick ride. Oh, yeah. Hello, Earth. Okay. And there you ah, go. Thank you so much for letting me experience that. Yeah, no problem. That was really cool. So I got to feel what it would be like to do a spacewalk. Now I want to know what it feels like to travel to Mars. To Mars? Do you have that here? We do. Really? Yeah. Oh, can we do it? Totally. Oh, let's go. Yeah. Uh, come on. So come on over this way. Oh, I can't wait to see this. Oh, yeah. Come on. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. Look over there. It says Lander Rover Simulator 1. That's so cool. Yeah. So over here, we have a really amazing simulator. Wow! Okay. Yeah. This is gonna show you how you're gonna fly to Mars, how you're gonna land on Mars, and then how you're gonna drive on Mars. <laughs> That's okay. amazing! And remember, yeah. it's a simulation, so it's not real, but it's gonna make me feel like I'm really traveling to Mars. Yeah. Now, we have two different positions, okay? Because whenever we do anything with NASA, we try to have a buddy system. Always gonna okay. have a backup. So okay. two people. Yes, two people. So we have a commander mm -hmm. who's gonna fly the thing. That's uh, you. Yes, okay. okay. And then we have a pilot who's gonna drive it. In this ah. case, it's a robot, so you're okay. Wow, so you yeah. fly there, land, and then you can drive? Yeah. That's so cool. Right? Do you wanna go inside? Yes, I do. Okay, so Bye. head on down the stairs. Okay. okay. And then you're gonna sit in this seat right here. Okay? Oh. There you go. Whoa. It's cool, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now, we're going to make sure you're as safe as possible. Okay. Okay. So if you look up above, you probably notice something very similar. Oh, yeah. It looks like a seat that you would sit in on a roller coaster. Yeah, exactly. Okay. We want to make sure you're as safe as possible. Okay. That's okay. Good. So I'm going to lock you in. Okay. Okay. What I want you to do, put your arms up and you're about to go on a roller coaster. Okay. Okay. And then the restraints are going to come down. <laughs> Okay. Go. Nice and secure. All good? Feel yeah. safe? Okay. Now, what's going to happen is when I close this door, we're going to start the simulator and you're going to fly and do all the cool stuff on Mars. Okay, okay. awesome. You ready? Yes, I'm so ready. Awesome. Okay. So I'm going to close the door now. All Bye. Right. See you soon. I'm going to Mars. <laughs> Whoa. It really feels like 
like I'm getting ready to go to Mars. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, here I go. Welcome back. That was amazing. <laughs> Whoa, did you see that? You did wow. a great job. Thank you. Now I'm gonna get you out of there, okay? okay. So first things first, the restraints. We're gonna raise those up, okay? There you go. Whoa. Good job. Okay. And you come on out this way. Be very Whoa. careful though. <laughs> you can use the handrail, yeah. That was wild. Did you see me flip upside down? <laughs> Whoa. You okay? Yeah, I'm good, I'm okay. good. <laughs> so is that what it feels like to land on Mars and then drive on Mars? A little bit, Whoa. yeah, yeah. It's a good wow. simulation, right? Yeah, that was really fun. Thanks for letting me experiment oh, with no that. Oh, no problem, yeah. So for that, you got to drive to our Mars Base 1 in uh -huh. the simulation. Yep. Do you want to see our simulated Mars base that we actually have here? Oh yeah, that's last on my list. Awesome. All right. Want to go? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> cool, come on. Come on over this way. Whoa. <gasps> wow. So welcome to our Mars Base One Botany Lab. Oh, thank you. I've never been in a space like this before. Yeah, do you like it? Yeah, it's very cool. Lots of plants in here. Yeah, we have tons of different varieties of plants because we want to see what types of things we could grow on Mars. Oh, why would you want to see what can grow on Mars? That's a really good question. So if we're going to go to Mars, like we plan to do, so we can work and do scientific experiments, mm -hmm. we got to test what we could have to eat on Mars. Because we can't oh. bring all the food we're gonna take there. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Now, growing on Mars is really difficult. It's not like Earth. Oh. Yeah. Is there not dirt on Mars? Well, there's dirt on Mars, but when it comes to Mars, it doesn't have the right things that plants need to grow. Oh. So, do you happen to know what things plants need to grow? Yeah. They need light and water and dirt or soil packed with nutrients, and you need the right temperature. Yeah, so they need tons and tons of stuff, and it's all very specific yeah. to the type of plant. Mm -hmm. Now, when it comes to Mars, it has dirt, but there's no nutrients in it. Oh. So if I just went outside and grabbed any old dirt, it's not really gonna simulate how well it works on Mars. Oh, well what does it feel like? What's the dirt feel like on Mars? Well, I have a really good example. So this is oh. some of the stuff that we use. Oh, cool. It's a simulation of what Martian dirt or soil is like. So this isn't really from Mars? No, it's not really from Mars. Huh. Look at this. Whoa. Kind of feels like a bunch of little rocks or little pebbles. Yeah. Huh. So it's like a lot of clay and iron. It's not good for plants, sadly. So we have to add in nutrients, plant food, so that way they can grow a lot easier. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. Now, like I was saying, we've grown tons of stuff in here. Yeah, I can uh, tell. We've grown things like lettuces and even tomatoes. <gasps> I love tomatoes! Wow, can you imagine eating a tomato that grew on Mars? <laughs> it's wow. super cool, right? Yeah. Now, other things that we've grown I want to show you are some of our peas. So come on over this way. So these are some of the peas that we've actually grown. We've tested different types of plants, but we also want to test how those plants grow in different conditions. Okay. So some of the things you mentioned before of growing include water. We have water in the trays. That helps them grow. All right. And then we have some nutrients in some of the arcelite, the dirt in there. Mm -hmm. And then we have different types of light even. Oh, different types of light. Oh, yeah, it does look different. Yes, yeah, so you can put your hand underneath. So down here we have like this weird purple magenta. Ooh, I love purple. Yeah. <laughs> it's got red and blue little lights. And then up here on top, we have oh. some white light with it. It's a little bit different. Yeah, it looks very different. Yeah. 
So we want to test how the plants grow in different light conditions. Oh, like these plants up top are growing a lot higher than these plants here on the bottom. Yes. So, hey, we know now for the peas to use more of these lights rather than these ones. Oh, just always experimenting. Yeah. And you can even see some of the ones that we've Whoa. kept growing even longer. They're super, super high because they have that nice light. See, they're growing towards the light? Yeah. Wow, they really like this light. Yeah, yeah. Wow, well, thank you so much for teaching me all about space and what it would feel like to land and drive on Mars and spacewalk and now Mars base. Yeah. <laughs> You've been awesome, thank you. Thank you. Well, have a good day. I'll You're see fine. you around. <laughs> Bye. Thanks, Daniel. Let's go. Wow, we did everything on my list. What a great day. We got to experience a spacewalk, experience landing and driving on Mars, <laughs> and we got to go to Mars base. Wow, space is so amazing. Thanks for learning with me today. <laughs> well, that's the end of this mission and the end of this video. But if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. <gasps> Will you spell my name with me on Mars? <laughs> okay. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. Oh, I gotta go. That's my ride. Bye. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Ball and Bounce in Encino, California. I bet there's all different kinds of balls that bounce here. And I bet there's a lot of different shapes here too we can explore like circles or triangles or squares or rectangles. <laughs> Will you explore with me? Oh great, let's go. <laughs> Look how cool this floor is. I see a lot of different colors and I see a shape. Do you see a shape too? Yeah, a square. Here, come down here. A square has four sides. Let's count. One, two, three, four. There are squares all over this floor. Hmm, I know. I'm only gonna hop on the green squares. Ready? Green, green, green. Whoa, look at this. Do you know what this is? It's a basketball hoop. And I see basketballs on the wall. Will you count the basketballs with me? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six basketballs. And I see four more right here. Wow, they're all different colors. There's one, two, three, four basketballs. Wow, these are so fun. Do you know what basketball is? It's a really fun sport. You take the basketball and you wanna get it in the basket or the hoop. <laughs> hmm, I wonder if I could get any of these balls in the hoop. I'm gonna try my best. Okay, here we go. Basketball star Mika going for the hoop. Oh, I missed it. That's okay. I'm gonna keep practicing. Now we're gonna try the green basketball. Oh, see, I was trying to use the backboard to help me get it in, and it still didn't work. Well, I have two balls left. Yellow basketball, maybe this is the one. <gasps> yeah! This calls for a 10 second dance party. Yeah! <laughs> Should I try the last one? Maybe this time I'll do a slam dunk. Ready? Here we go. Whoa! Wow! I got the skills. <laughs> I'm just being silly. <laughs> Can you think of another sport where you would need to use a ball? Hmm, <gasps> a soccer ball. Yeah, soccer is another really fun sport where you use a ball. I 
wonder if we can find a soccer goal anywhere. Come on. I found one, a soccer goal. We have our soccer ball and our soccer goal, so now we can really play soccer. <laughs> Check out the soccer ball. See, it's black and white, and there's two different shapes on it. This shape is a pentagon. Will you count the sides with me? Okay, one, two, three, four, five. A pentagon has five sides. And this shape is a hexagon. <laughs> Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six sides. So in soccer, you wanna get the ball into the goal, but you can't use your hands. You can use your feet, you can use your knees. Hmm, wait a second. There's more balls over here. I wonder if I can get all of them into the goal. Let's see. Oh, we saw something like this earlier. It's a tiny basketball. Do you know what color it is? That's right, it's orange. I'm gonna kick it in the goal. Here we go. Boop. <laughs> oh yeah, goal. And what? Tiny one looks like a ball pit ball. Do you know what color that is? Yellow, <laughs> one of my favorites. Let's see if I can kick this tiny little ball into the goal. <gasps> Boop, yes, goal. And we have this really bouncy ball and it's blue. All right, in you go. Yeah, whoa, that was a big one, goal. And another basketball, but this one's a different color. Do you know what color it is? Red, oh right. That was too light of a kick, but don't worry, I have it in me. Here we go. Goal, see, I knew I could do it. And here's another really bouncy ball, and it's yellow. All right, three, two, one. Do you know what this color is? Oh yeah, it's red. Okay. Go! <laughs> and now is the time for the official soccer kick. I'm using a soccer ball. I'm using a soccer goal. One. Go! I love soccer. <laughs> Thanks so much for playing with me. I wonder what else is here to play with. Let's go. Hey, look at these colorful blocks. Huh, they're kind of set up like bowling pins. And bowling is another sport where you use a ball. There's usually 10 pins for bowling. Will you count with me? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. This is the perfect setup for bowling. The pins don't usually look like this. These are rectangles. Do you know what a rectangle is? It's a shape with four sides and it has two long sides and two short sides. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's a rectangle. Hmm. And usually you have a bowling ball, which is really heavy. <laughs> but I don't think there's any bowling balls here. Hey, but there's some balls over here. I wonder what kind of ball would knock these blocks over? Hmm, you could try, oh, <laughs> look at this little one. Do you know what color this is? Blue, yeah, let's see if it will knock over these blocks. Nope. <laughs> what about this one? This is a fun yellow ball. All right, let's see if this one will work. Whoa! <laughs> wow, that's a really bouncy ball. It bounced right off the pin. Let's see how many I knocked over. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hey, that's pretty good. I'll set them back up. We can try another ball. 
Awesome. Ooh, what about this basketball? I wonder if it's too bouncy to knock any of these blocks over. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> yep, I knocked over. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> we have one ball left to try. The soccer ball. Let's see if the soccer ball can knock any blocks over. Okay. Here we go. Three, two, one. Wow, I knocked over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks. Hmm, I wonder what else we could do to knock these blocks down. I have an idea. What if instead of bowling, we played Mika Bowl? <laughs> and instead of using a ball, I'll use me. <laughs> okay, set these up, and I'm gonna find a way to go down and knock these blocks over. What can I do? I could dance, I could crawl, I could run, or I could be one of my favorite dinosaurs, a T-Rex. Are you ready for the Mika Bowl? Rawr, 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 rawr. Yeah, I did it. I knocked all the pins over. And in bowling, when that happens, it's called a strike. Strike. Five, six, seven, eight. And now it's time to celebrate. Rawr. <laughs> Come on, let's keep playing. <laughs> Whoa, there are a lot of shapes here. <gasps> Come look at this one. This is an octagon. Do you know how many sides it has? Well, let's count and find out. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight sides. Wow, that's a really cool shape. Hmm. Oh, look at these little chairs. If you look at the back of them, you can see a square. A square has four sides. See? One, two, three, four. And there's one, two, three, Four squares. But if you look even closer, when all of them are together, it makes one big rectangle. And makes for a really comfy couch. <laughs> Whoa, do you see this? It's a giant circle. Huh, it kind of looks like a cake or a pie. Whoa, look at this big slice of cake. Hmm. <gasps> Mmm, mm -hmm. very tasty. <laughs> wow, there's more shapes over here. I see a big purple rectangle. See, there's the two long sides and the two short sides. <laughs> oh, and if you look to the side here, I see a pink triangle. See, one, two, three. Do you see any other shapes? Yeah, a circle, a red circle. And this ball is here too. Should I throw the ball through the circle? Okay, let's do it. All right, ready? So long, ball. Woo! <laughs> hey, I see some really special circles over there. Come on. all of these bubbles. These are the cool circles that I was talking about. <laughs> bubbles are so fun. Hey, you know what I just realized? Every ball we played with today was a circle. A basketball, a soccer ball, a bouncy ball, a ball pit ball. <laughs> so many circles today. Can you remember any other shapes that we saw? We saw a hexagon, a pentagon, an octagon, a rectangle, a triangle, a square. 
There are so many shapes all around us all the time. Isn't that cool? <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> well, I'm gonna keep playing with these bubbles. See you next time. Bye. because today we get to meet someone very special, Sean Johnson. <laughs> John is an Olympic gold medal gymnast. Gymnastics is a cool sport where you get to do lots of fun things with your body. It takes a lot of practice, strength, flexibility. <laughs> and Sean is gonna show us some cool moves at the Nashville Gymnastics Training Center. I can't hardly wait. Woohoo! Here we go! Woo! <gasps> oh, hi! <laughs> hey, Sean, I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. It's so great to meet you. <laughs> you too. <laughs> Will you show us some gymnastics? I would love to, but first we need to stretch and warm up to stay safe. Oh, right, because yes. first things first, safety first. Yes. So let's stretch your arms first, just kind All of right. across. Arms first. Yes. <laughs> How old were you when you started doing gymnastics? I actually started gymnastics when I was two years old. Whoa. I came into the gym and I just got to run around and I loved it. Oh, that sounds so yes. fun. Yes, it's kind <laughs> of like a playground, mm -hmm. but it's really soft and cushy, so you can do a lot of flips and stuff and stay safe. Oh, that's so yes. important. Let's stretch our legs next, right okay, here. Sean. So grab the back, it takes some balance though. Whoa, you're really good at balancing. Yes, how a lot of practice. Yes, how often did you practice? So when I started at the age of two, I only went for like one hour, one time a week. But as I got older and I got better at it, I kind of went more and more hours. Wow. Um, because it takes a lot of practice to go to the Olympics. It really does. Yes. Yeah. And how many Olympic medals do you have? I have four Olympic medals. Oh. I have a gold on the balance beam, and I have a silver on the floor, and on the team, and on the all around. Whoa. <laughs> yes. What are the differences between the medal colors? Yes. So the gold is number one. It's like the first place. And silver <laughs> is number two, second place. Nice. Yes. And then there's another one too, right? There's a bronze, which is third place. And did you ever lose? I did, a lot. I lost a lot of competitions, but I actually liked it better. Whenever I would make mistakes, it was so rewarding to come mm. back into the gym and work on it and get better and like feel good inside. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. It's okay if you make mistakes. It's just an opportunity for growth. Yes. Okay, so let's sit down a little bit and stretch a little bit more before we get started. Okay, <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Oh, it's okay to be nervous. I get nervous a lot. You do? Yes. What do you do when you get nervous? I practice so that I feel more confident. I trust myself and I say, I can do this. Mm. And I ask my coach if I'm ready. I can do this. Yeah. <laughs> now lean forward a little bit. Put your feet out in front of you. And touch your toes. Touch those toes. <laughs> I do think we're ready to get started. Oh, yay! Are you excited? I'm so excited. Okay, let's go do it. Here we go. <laughs> oh, wow! Oh, that was so cool. <laughs> Thank you. Can you teach me something on the beam? I can, but first we're gonna start on the low beam and progressively work our way here. Great idea. Okay. Progressively means we take it one step at a time. Yes. Until you feel comfortable and much better. So we're gonna start at this end of the beam. Okay. <laughs> and you're gonna step up here. Okay, here I go. So the key to gymnastics is keeping all of your muscles squeezed as tight as possible. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. That helps us not fall off the beam. Right. If you do fall off the beam, it's okay. We'll right. just get back up and try again. Do you ever fall? I fall a lot, but with practice, you get more confident and better at your skills, so you fall less. Right. Okay, so arms will go straight out to the side. You can 
I think you got this one. Oh, thanks. Sarah. You're gonna kind of look right down at the beam to mm -hmm. make sure you walk in a straight line. Okay. And we're just gonna walk forward. Okay. Walk one, one two, two, three, three, four, four. Okay, nice. now we're gonna walk backwards. Oh, that sounds tricky. So the thing with this is you're gonna feel for the beam and then plant your foot. Make sure you look down. Feel for the beam. For the plant. Beam. And you're gonna go back till you feel the end of the beam. Okay. And when you feel the end, you're gonna stop. Okay. Keep going. <laughs> Keep feeling. Keep feeling. <gasps> there you are. Yay, I'm ready to the end. <laughs> so now we're gonna do flamingo walk. Okay. You're flamingo. gonna take a step. Hmm. Flamingo. Flamingo. Step. Flamingo. Ska, ska. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there flamingo. we go. Step, flamingo. <laughs> Step, flamingo. Now, in gymnastics, we yes. always like to be barefoot uh -huh. because being able to feel the beam with our bare feet helps us have more control. It's Probably safer. Probably makes it less slippery, too. Yes. So, one more. Flamingo. Good job. <laughs> okay, next skill, we're going to try a scale. Uh huh. I don't know why they call it this, but it's just the name. You're going to take your dominant side, which is usually the same side of your body, you write with. My right hand side. Yes, and for some reason, I think one side of your body is just usually stronger. So we Ooh. favor that in gymnastics. Okay. So you take your dominant side, mm -hmm. lean forward, arms out, and scale down. Whoa! And scale back up. Scale down. <gasps> and scale back up. Good job! <laughs> that takes a lot of strength and a lot of balance. Mm-hmm. Okay, last one, are you ready? I'm ready. So with this one, we're actually gonna do a jump. <gasps> Whoa. Now, for all the kids watching, make sure you always have a coach with you and you don't do anything your coach doesn't say is safe for you. Okay. Okay? Is but it I safe, think you're Sean? ready. I think you're ready okay. for this. Coach says we're ready. <laughs> so when you jump, you wanna squeeze all your muscles super tight. You're gonna go down, jump, down. So okay. bend, straight, bend. And squeeze all those muscles together. Okay. Make sure you look at the beam too. Here we go. Ready? Here we go. Whoa! It's okay. We can try it again. Count to ten and try again. <gasps> Will you count to ten with us? Oh, great. One, One two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. And try again. Okay, here we go. Remember, squeeze your muscles, mm -hmm. squeeze all everything together, and I think you got this one by yourself. Are you ready? Okay. Make sure you look at the beam. Ready, one, two, two three. three. Good job! Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think you're ready for the big beam. <gasps> okay, let's try the big beam. Let's go. Woohoo! So, with the big beam, I personally think the hardest part is just climbing up. So I'll help you climb up, and then I can hold your hand through the whole thing. Okay, it's really tall. I know. But it might feel tall, but nothing's changed. It's the same beam as down there, mm -hmm. and you are so confident and strong, I know you can do it up here. Thanks, Sean. Let's do it. <laughs> this is tricky. Whoa! Does it feel a little higher? Yeah, I feel a little nervous. It's okay, remember, tell yourself, I can do this, take a deep breath, and know that your coach, myself, <laughs> believes you can do it too. I can do this. <sighs> deep breaths. And make sure if you're at home, you don't try any of this without a coach or without a gym, because safety is definitely first. Mm -hmm. Most Good important. Job. Okay, you've kind of mastered the forward walking. Let's try the backward. Okay. <laughs> okay, look at the beam, squeeze all your muscles, feel, feel your behind you and plant your foot. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Let's take two more steps. Okay. One. One. Two. two. Okay. Are you ready for your flamingos? Yes. Okay, let's try four this time. Four flamingos. Yeah. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four flamingos. Good job. Spot, spot, hey. spot. Are you ready for your jump? I'm ready. Okay, so Whoa. here, I'm actually gonna get on the beam with you and okay. help you with your jump. 
So what we're gonna do, I'll show you. You feel my hands. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do a small jump. Keep every muscle really tight, just like that. I'm gonna hold your hands. You use me for balance. You're gonna squeeze everything together. Go down, jump, down, and you're good. Okay. Ready? I'm ready. Okay, make sure you look at the beam. Ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Whoa! Good job! <laughs> That was really good. That was fun. You want to try one more? Yeah. Okay, ready? One, two, three. <gasps> good job! <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Oh, I think you've shot. mastered the beam. Do you want to go to the floor? Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> that beam was so fun! I was so proud of you. You did such a good job. Oh, thank you, Sean. <laughs> and the medal goes to... <gasps> Mika! Mika! <laughs> so, now that we're on the floor, I thought I could teach you another new skill. Oh, great. But first, can you do a cartwheel? Oh, yes. I love doing cartwheels. Do you mind showing me your cartwheel? I'd be happy to. Okay, let's see it. <laughs> That's a really good cartwheel. <laughs> Thank Since you, you already know how to do a cartwheel, mm -hmm. how about we take the next step and we learn a round off? Sounds great. A okay. round off? A round off is like a cartwheel, but instead of landing one foot at a time, you put your feet together. Whoa. Yeah, it's a foundational skill in gymnastics that you learn before you learn all the big flips, like flips and tricks. Oh, yes. yes. That sounds great. Okay, so I'll show you first. Uh huh. The cartwheel, just like you did, is pretty simple like this. Mm -hmm. One foot after another. So what you're going to do is, when you're upside down, your uh -huh. feet will come together and land together. Kind of like this. Whoa! <laughs> and this might sound silly, but the floor, you want to push it away as hard as you can. Okay. That's what kind of gives you that speed to kind of jump off the floor. All right. Okay, are you ready to try one? Sure. I'd Let's give, give it, it a, a shot. It's okay if we make mistakes. We'll work on it. That's true. That's what I learned on the beam. Yes. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, here I go. Whoa. <laughs> Good job. Good job. So we also want to try to keep our legs as straight as we can. Okay. And a little trick for that is if you point your toes as hard as you can, your legs will naturally straighten. Really? Yeah. Okay. Let's try one more time. Sure. That was a lot better. Oh, Yay. <laughs> I'm so proud of you again. That's another <laughs> new skill. Thank you so much, Sean. Of course. That was awesome. Good job. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that was so cool! Thank you! Do you think I could do that someday? I think with a lot of practice and hard work, you definitely could. Oh, thank you for showing me all those skills! You did such a good job on the beam, on the floor. I was really proud of you. Oh, yeah! We had such a busy day today! We learned how to do <gasps> balancing walks on the beam and skills! <laughs> and we learned how to do a round off at the end of our cartwheels. Yeah. Oh, we also learned that there's a side of your body that's usually stronger than the other side. Yeah. And that's the side we usually use in gymnastics. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. Can you spell my name with me? S H A W N Sean! <laughs> Bye, friends! Oh, I'd like to keep practicing, please. Me too. <laughs>
Hi, Mika. Nice to meet you. My name is Laura. Welcome to Playdate. Oh, thank you. What kind of things can I do here? Oh, we have so many awesome classes. You can do painting, sculpture, cartooning, architecture, and fashion design. <gasps> fashion design? That's what I'm interested in. I want to add some things to my outfit. Great. So the first thing we can do is start with a mood board. Have you ever made a mood board? Yeah, I've made a mood board before. A mood board is a board of pictures and colors and words that inspire you. Okay, great. So let's get started. Follow right, me. Come on. Wow, this is a big board. Well, Mika, this is your mood board and here are all the materials that you can use. And here is your apron. <gasps> Thank you so much. So have fun and I'll come check on you in a bit. Okay, thanks. See you soon. Whoop. Oh, I'm so excited to make this mood board. Okay, let's see what we have. <gasps> Whoa, look at all of these colorful balls. Ooh, those are really fun. <gasps> There's some paint. Hmm, what should I start with? I'm gonna start with purple, one of my favorite colors. Hello again. Hey, what do you think? It looks great. Can you tell me a little about what you made? Sure, I'd love to. So I put the word confident on here because confident is the feeling I feel when I wear this outfit. And I have music notes because I love to sing and dance. And I have a big purple M because M is the first letter of my name, Mika. And it's purple, one of my favorite colors. I think we're ready for our next step. I think we have enough inspiration, so we should do a sketch now. Oh, a sketch. I know what that is because I'm such a planner. Fashion designers will use a sketch to help them plan what they want to make. Okay, so let's go. Follow All right, me. Come on. Wow, this is cool. So one way to make a sketch is by tracing your body on the chalkboard. And then based on your mood board, you can add all the elements that you want to put on your garment. Wow, what a good idea. Okay, Mika, can you please lean against the chalkboard? Oh yeah. Thank you. All right. Yeah, for fashion designers, it's super helpful to plan and sketch out a idea or design before you make something. Ooh. <laughs> All right, how's it looking? I can't wait to see. Okay, Mika. Ready? Yes. All right. <gasps> yes, I love it. I'm feeling inspired already. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you can add the elements to your design and I will meet you at the sewing station. Okay, see you there. Bye. Thank you. Okay, so first I think I'm gonna draw the outfit I'm wearing right now. So what am I wearing? What do you see? Yeah, my purple t-shirt. So let me find some purple here. Whoa, look how big this chalk is. It looks like a potato. <laughs> All right, so let's see. T-shirt, short sleeves. Okay, that. All right, I'm gonna color it in. And do you notice anything else on my purple shirt? Yeah, I have some yellow on there. Whoa, look at this piece of chalk. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do some yellow here on the sleeves. And yellow here. And where else is there yellow? Up here, around my neck there. Some yellow. And I have a yellow pocket. <laughs> right side. Ooh. Okay. What else do I have? Purple shirt and my jeans. Okay, I'll use the color blue. All right. And you can see a little bit of my ankle, so I'm gonna cut them down here so I have room for my shoes. I'm gonna color them in blue. Okay. 
blue jeans, my purple shirt, and oh, my accessories. I have a compass watch that's purple and yellow. So I'm gonna use this purple again. And let's see. There's yellow on it too. Oh, I'm feeling like such a little designer. <laughs> Okay, let's see if I can copy it. There's a little yellow there. There's a little yellow there. And the rest is purple. And there's a white circle in the middle. Can you see it? It's really tiny. Okay, that. And then check out my bracelets. There's blue, yellow, purple, orange. Wow, that's a lot of different colors. So we get some purple on there, blue, and ooh, a little orange. Okay, and yellow. Awesome, and oh, speaking of yellow, I have a yellow bow in my hair. Oh, I should draw my hair. It's brown and curly. Can't really tell what color this is. Let's find out. Ooh, look at those curls. Go on, Mika. Woo. Okay, okay. And then I'll put my yellow ribbon here. Mika, you look amazing. All right, and I have some white and purple and yellow ugh, shoes. Okay. Whoa. Okay, some shoes. And hmm, I feel like something is missing. I have my bow, my shirt, my jeans, my accessories. <gasps> my jam pack. Oh, I forgot my super fun jam pack. Okay, let's see. I need blue and orange, and there's a white circle in the middle, <laughs> just like my compass watch. Okay, so I need orange and blue, and I'll use this black to draw the strap, and then the big circle. Okay, so there's blue on top, and blue on the bottom. These two are orange. And there's the white button in the middle. Okay, yes, she's looking great. <laughs> okay, so I wanna add something, I think, to my shirt. There was something on my mood board that got me really excited. Do you know what it is? It's the letter M for Mika. I think it would look so cool if there was a purple letter M right there on my pocket. So let's see if I'm right. Oh, it's kind of hard to see. Yes, yes, that's what I want. The letter M sewn onto my shirt. That way my outfit will look super complete. And I think I'll just add some little bedazzle here in my bag for fun. And I forgot my face. <laughs> All right. The eyes, the nose, and a giant smile. Twins. <laughs> All right, let's go over to the sewing station so I can get my M put on my shirt. Come on. Hey. Hi, Mika. I'm so excited to be at the sewing station. Welcome. I have the sewing kit ready for you. <gasps> Did you decide what to do with your design? Yes, I'm so excited. I want to add a purple M to my shirt. That's great, so I'm gonna give you another shirt so you can change. Oh, cool. All right, thanks, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Hi, Mika. Hi, thank you for the shirt. You're welcome. <laughs> so I have my shirt here ready for the letter N. That's great. So first thing we're gonna do is talk about the materials that oh. we will be using. Yeah, there's a lot here. So for sewing, we use needles, mm -hmm. plastic needles for kids, and sharp needles for adults. Whoa. So make sure that you have a grown-up with you when you're using those sharp needles. Yeah, good idea. We also use 
thread and scissors. Oh, so needle, thread, and scissors. Got it. Perfect. So to thread the needle, we're going to pass the yarn or thread through the eye of the needle. Oh, oh I bet the eye is right here on top. That is See thread. that opening? Ooh, that looks <laughs> kind of difficult. <laughs> So don't worry, I have a trick for it. Okay. You can fold your yarn, mm -hmm. so that way it's easier to pass through the needle. Oh, smart, okay. Perfect. So next, you're going to choose the color that you're going to use. Hmm, there are a lot of great colors. Oh, I think I want to use orange. I love this color. <laughs> Perfect. So now, we're gonna cut the thread. Okay. To measure, you hold it with your fingertips. Where's the end? Where there it is. <laughs> <laughs> and then pull it to your elbow. Okay. Whoop. And that's a perfect size to start. Nice. You wanna cut it? Yes. Team work. Perfect. Love it. So now we're gonna make a knot on one of the ends of our thread. Okay, you make a knot here. Yes, perfect. And we're gonna call that the tail. Got a little tail. And now you can thread your needle. Okay, should I try your trick? Yes. Okay, just like the professionals do it. <laughs> I'm gonna be very careful because the end of this needle is sharp. <laughs> so close. Oh, oh, oh. That's fine, I can do it for you. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that's really tricky to do. Yes, it's okay. It takes practice. I have to practice more. All right, nice. <laughs> Thanks for your help. You're welcome. So now you can start sewing. Another tip is that you hold both the needle and the thread when you're stitching. Oh. That way the thread will stay in the needle. Got it. Okay. Oh. I don't have the letter M. <laughs> no worries, I have it ready for you right here. <gasps> wow, it's exactly what I had in mind, look. It's purple, one of my favorite colors. Oh, thank you so much for making this. You're welcome. Okay, so I think I want it to look like this. Hold it up so you can see it. What do you think? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So cute. Okay, so hold both the needle and the thread. And you're gonna watch my fingers here because it's really sharp. And just poke a hole and then pull the needle through, right? Yes. Okay. Make sure you pass all the thread through. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Good job. I did it. My first stitch. <laughs> okay. And then go back through. Yes. Okay. Jeez, it's harder than it looks. Hi. <laughs> right. Okay, look, it's starting to stay on the shirt. Good job. Now you secure your M. Okay. Thank and you. You can add a few more stitches. Okay. Let's see, maybe I'll do one here. Okay. The final stitch. All right, now what do I do? Well, now we can cut the excess thread. Okay. I can help you. Thank you. I can take the needle. Oh, thank you. Be careful. Yes. All right. I can't believe I just did that all by myself. Great job, Mika. Thank you. What do you think? I love it. Oh, thank you so much for helping me today. You're welcome. I hope you had a good time and keep practicing everything you learned today. I will. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Mika. See you Bye. later. Bye. Okay, I can't wait to put this on. See you soon. Check it out. The letter M is on my shirt and I think it looks really good. I love it. Now my outfit is complete. Oh, and I have one more thing for fun. For my jam pack. Ooh, nice. <laughs> I had such a fun day. I got to make a mood board, a sketch, and I sewed my very own M on my shirt. This was so cool. And what's cool about fashion and style is you can express yourself through your clothes and accessories. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. 
Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> All right. I'll see you later. Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. Mika, Mika. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Mika. Mika.